We doing everything they talk about You know I'm everything a boss about Not putting work and gotta toss them out I'm really biting, they just barking out I'm really riding, they just parking out His street, what to talk about See the big H when I'm walking out Game we got. I, I like to call this game the black and blue game, not necessarily for the colors, but more so the physicality of it. So the Hamburg Sea Devils play the Russell off Panthers. All right. Talk to me about your thoughts on this game. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the Panthers. It's a bit they're a bit messy coming into this season. They were the team last year that me and you, I think we we always had hope for them, always until the end, but then they just always just seem to just seem to shoot themselves in the foot quite a lot. I think we, um, had, we had them as championship contenders last year. Yeah, we did. And they just, yeah. and I remember every week just backing them saying, yeah, I think this week well, they, they'll win. start going, <laughs> they'll start winning, but they never did for us. Uh, yeah, this one's an interesting one. We, You've got the, the Sea Devils who, uh, you know, they're going again. It's just, it's just one of those things where two championship losses in a row, it's hard. It's tough to pick things up and keep going again, but they have to do it. They've obviously they've moved away um, from the you know German quarterback. They've gone to Preston Hare this year, um, who I'm quite intrigued to see. I know American Football International rate him pretty highly when they did their quarterback ratings. They had him in fourth, I think it was definitely yeah. top five. Yeah, he has good team. Um, Preston Hare. Has yeah, good exactly that. They, they, they lost Glenn Tunga, which is. That's huge. We all know how important Glenn was last year for them. So, so losing him, yeah, it was was quite um quite difficult. They lost Gene Constant, but they bought in Malik Stanley, who yeah. we you know I love Malik Stanley. I think he is just. I think because he was on the Panthers last year, I think he was quite. He went under the radar, even though everyone rated him. I feel like in a better situation, he could have done even more. So he'll have a thousand happy- yards receiving too. Yeah, exactly that. So imagine what he can do this year. And especially in what better game, where better to start against your old team. So it'll be, you know, he'll have a lot of motivation um, going forward. Their defence, look, we we love the, the Hamburg seat of his defence. So, and I, I assume they're just going to keep going and keep moving. Uh, not too many changes for them on that front, which is which is really good. Um, yeah, when it comes to this one, it's a tough one. I think, there's a lot, as I mentioned, there's a lot of changes in Rotslav. I see this as another rebuilding year for them. I don't have too much hope. And of course, getting rid of the, their two American imports sort of what, two weeks ago, was it a week ago? It's quite close to the start of the season, bringing in um, their, their new QB. Um, yeah, I know you haven't asked me who I think is going to win, but I think it's quite obvious in how I'm talking. I think, I, look, I think Hamburg are going to still be a good team, a solid team, and keep going. And yeah, so I, I have the Hamburg Sea Devils in this one. It's not a, a particular, it's not a particular area where I think they're going to win. I just think they're just an overall better team, better coach. But you know, the Panthers could surprise us. Uh, but I just think this is more of a building year for them. What type of impact you think Malik Stanley could have in this game? <sighs> I say, and let me press this by saying this, God, yeah, because this Hamburg team is not like last year's Hamburg team, where you have a Gene Constant, a Lamar Jordan, and a Glenn Tunga, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we don't – this Hamburg team is a young Hamburg team, and we're going to learn about some names. The The main one that comes to mind first is probably Malik Stanley. You know, so if he's the main target going up against this old team, what type of impact do you think he could possibly True. have in this game? Yeah, the thing, if he might be quite muted for his first week, uh, you know, he's going to be – have double coverage on him for sure. His old team know his strengths and his weaknesses. So we, we have to take that all into effect. Um and, you know, as I say, not overreact from that first week. But then on the other hand of things, he's going to, as I mentioned, he's going to be motivated like anything to, to yeah. really, really put on a good performance. So you're right. I think, you know, it might not, it might be a slow start for him, but I think he's got enough talent to sort of push that aside and and really have a big game week one. Yeah, I think looking at this matchup, as I mentioned, it's a, they lost a lot of pieces, Hamburg, right? So it's, we're going to learn about a lot of ga- a lot of guys, and it's a young Hamburg team, and you know they're bringing in a solid quarterback, you know, and, and Preston Hare pairing him up with with a Malik Stanley. You know, my question hanging to this game is: Did Russ Law did they do enough on the offensive line to combat probably one of the most 
decorated teams and decorated defenses in the ELF thus far. You know, since year one, the Hamburg defense, uh, led by Coach uh, uh, Kintra Ellison, has been historic, has been dynamic, and has put up some crazy numbers. And again, yes, they lost a lot of guys, you know, but from what I'm hearing, all they did was just rebuild on that offensive line. They got some dudes. So did Russell do enough where they're going to be able to handle uh, the Hamburg uh, defense? Uh, as we mentioned, you know, last year we had high hopes for uh, for, for Russell Off, championship aspirations. But they just, you know, not only did injuries kill them, you know, multiple different types of quarterbacks couldn't get on the same page. This year, you know, they brought in uh, Coach Christian, the, the new head coach, um, to rebuild this thing. Um, so we'll see what we got. Um, but for me personally, uh, as a defensive guy, uh, defense wins championships. I think Hamburg's the better team. I'm rocking with the the Sea Devils as well, man. Hard work, they don't know about it. Hard work, they don't know about it. Hard work, they don't know about it.